Big Ten play starts, you got a slugfest on your hand. Going on the road to Big Ten is as hard as anything in college basketball. The Big Ten is the best conference in America. We want to win the Big Ten all right. That's what we plan on doing. see a movie and I checked my game cast and we was down I think 13 and the run was happening and as I walked in the house I seen Trey cross half and shoot the shot Trey Burke from the minute he got here he had like this level of poise it was pretty shocking especially from a freshman. Trey was one of a kind, but Derek spent time with Trey. He would come up, you know, to games and talk with Trey after the game, and Trey would give him, you know, a little piece of advice here and there. Main thing he told me, stay committed to what you want to do and never slack. Just looking up to him and just saying, man, he's playing his mind. You know, hopefully that can be me one day. We gotta talk to him about 212, 213 degrees, don't we? We gotta really yes, bring it. You bring it for, for this time right now, right? We'll be ready to play and let the chips fall where they may. Walking in, I was mind blown. I didn't know what was going on. Coach, he's a guy that makes his own terminology. I was just hearing him say some things, and I was just like, what is he talking about? A donut, a waffle. Why are we talking about breakfast out here? I don't, I don't understand. I found myself being over passive. Yeah, I just didn't feel like myself at the beginning of the year. We had a lot of like, veterans on our team, and I didn't want to be the guy, you know, trying to oversee their voices. So I would just sit back and listen. Jordan was on my head, you know, constantly. You're like, we got to talk out here. You're the point guard. You're a freshman, but, you know, we're still going to look to you at times for that certain level of point. I knew everything that they were saying was right, but I just couldn't find it myself to say it yet. Being a freshman, you got upperclassmen and guys that made the run that we made. It's hard to, one, know what to say, and then, two, you know, feel like it's your responsibility as a young player to say something to these other guys that have been here. I was always that guy to speak up. I guess it was just the nerves that got to me when I got here, you know, knowing all these guys with, you know, way more experience than me. J-Mo kind of knew the guy I was. He was just really encouraging me to break out of that shell. He always be like, D-Wall, you got to speak up, man. We know you got it in you. We're going to need you to do that for us to be successful this season. We want to be successful this season. I had to make a choice. In the Florida State game in Puerto Rico, I found myself calling the huddles, talking about things I saw out there. For him to come in and be the voice in that huddle and, and kind of give the team direction, I think that that's impressive, and that speaks to his growth. Walton backs it up with nine to shoot. Fires for three. Got it. One of his biggest highlights, obviously, at Michigan State. Coach Beeline talks about the importance of running a play versus being a player. That's been his biggest area of growth, is finding that balance between knowing when to run a play and be a player. Grabbed by Levert up ahead for Walton. Walton one one-on-one with Trice. Leans in, finger rolls it, and one! Age doesn't matter in terms of getting it right. If you know the right thing to do, you definitely got to tell people. And he's grown a lot in that area. At Nebraska, making a game-winning basket, taking a charge at Ohio State. He's the kid that likes to lead his team by example. And I think he's getting more comfortable speaking up. I feel like I'm getting back to my old self. It's like, finally you doing what we thought you could do. From the outside looking at I never knew it was this intense. I know a lot of guys on that team. I know Denzel a lot. Gary is a great friend of Zach. At the end of the season, you don't win that game, you're going to hear from him. My main thing was going, I, I want to be the guy to be able to say something. Do me a favor as you get an index card and a pen. 
Just sign that. That is your signature. When you put your signature on something, that's your name is behind it. This is what you signed up for, to play Michigan basketball. You signed up to carry with you 97 years of tradition. When you signed up to wear that jersey, you signed up for this game. When you walk out on that court, every team that played here before you is your brother. Every coach is your family. Every fan stands right there with you today in your mission to beat State. Yeah. Marches right around the corner. This is when the games really get big. No bigger game than these two arch rivals getting together in Chrysler. These are the two best teams in the Big Ten so far this year. When all is said and done, it'll prove out to be the two best teams in the conference during the regular campaign as well. Yeah, Michigan can find themselves a way to get off to a quick start. This building will become a legend. Harris drives in a kick out. Valentine eyes a three. Got it. Harris quickly into the front court. Finds an open Valentine. Fires for three. Teardrop ball. Back to back threes from Denzel Valentine. And Michigan State leads 17 to 8. And they have been the more aggressive and dominant team early on. Michigan trailing by nine. Walton's open for three. Got it. seconds to go on the half. Levert in the front court. Clean look at a three. Got it! And Michigan down just a bucket at the break. Two heavyweights slugging it out. Applin between the circles against Derek Wolf. Rocks the dribble. A bounce pass feed to Payne. Off the glass and down. Unbelievable shot. He might have shot it from the M. Great theater here in Ann Arbor. Yeah, and it's important that Michigan stays aggressive during the course of this ball game because you know this Michigan State team is a team that won't go away. Michigan State's lead is one. Stauskas, he'll fire for three. Give me that. And that's what Nick has to do. He has to come out and be aggressive. Stauskas behind the back dribble. Now fires for three. Oh, my! That was hot! Michigan leads 59-52. Left corner, Levert. Drives baseline. Stops it through. They're blown him out of the gym. Oh! The athleticism of Glenn Robinson. Michigan's gonna take sole possession of the lead in the Big Ten. Michigan has now won six of the last eight. Four in a row at home in the series. They broke the Spartans 79-70 here at Chrysler Center. Stay 
a great team effort by everybody. They are very, very good. You can, you can beat that team twice. You can beat anybody in the country. You can't lose your, your swag, your mojo. You can't lose your work habits. You can't lose just your focus right now. You're, you're right at the end. But you can beat that team twice, right? You can do anything you want to do. All right, get up here. Let's go.